Today I'll show you the dodge and burn full process. Some of my audience just asked my shorts to how to make this one in properly in a long video and I'll show you how to make this one. So let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you're new in my channel. Okay, let's start. Here at first I'll make copy here one and two so two copy one is shadow and another one is highlight so this one is shadow this one is highlight that's good in the highlight portion i'll go to the blend mode and make this one screen and then right press and go to the blending options from here in the highlight portion i'll take the shadow one that means the darker darker one alter option button to divide the slider and when you are making the slider blend it up so i'll make it blend and hit ok and then this one mask it out after masking that going to the image and then apply image and then hit ok that's good and now turning it off and now shadow portion going to this blending mode and multiply and going to the blending options and the highlighted options underlining layer like this okay this one is a shadow part okay that's fine mask it out going to the image and then apply image in this portion i'll make this one invert so check this one invert and then select this two making this one into group and mask this group going to the image and going to the apply image in this portion turn off the invert options that's good and hit okay so you are getting the shadow and highlight that's good that is the touch and burn process automatically if you want to change it up you can go to the settings again and you can change up the settings properly so i'll make this one the shadow portion and double press over there if you want you can change up the highlight portion if you want and hit okay so this one is a soft way to make this one properly blending options if you want to use any sort of filters and other stuffs i'll suggest you to make this one another copy and select these two layers and convert a smart object after making the smart object going to the filter and then camera filter in this portion you can uh, change up the color correction and everything so making this one exposure a little bit down and the highlight a little bit down and contrast a little bit up and shadow i'll provide some shadow over there and the blacks i'll make it a little bit down and texture i'll make it like that the clarity i'll make it up and going to the detail options from here i add some sharpening noise reduction and the color noise reduction in this portion contrast 25 percent and in this portion smooth and color noise reduction like that so here also you can get the contrast like 25 percent that's good let's see okay that's fine okay if you want you can go to the calibration and you can change up the calibration of the red and the green and the blue that's good going to the basic and here is the temperature and tint and make the temperature down and the tint plus 8 and minus 8 or you can make this one a little bit of warm okay that's fine and then going to the going to the color grading over there shadow mid tone and highlight shadow adding some saturation and then finding the proper shadow over, over there the mid tone i'll change up the mid tone like this yeah that's fine and then saturation i'll go to this portion and like that so let's see the before one and after one and hit ok ok that's fine let's see the before one image was flat and after adding some like shadow highlight and other steps you are getting the dynamic range over there which is really creative and which is really effective for your portrait photography editing so that's all for today hope that you will learn from here a lot until the next video, we'll see I'm signing out today. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep me in your prayers and bye-bye.